France 24's Philip Torrell's on set with me to talk a bit more about all of this. Philip, first of all, what kind of machinery are we talking about? Well, there's been a lot of discussion over whether these are tanks or just military vehicles. It appears they are military vehicles and not really tanks due to the fact they have tyres on their wheels uh, and uh, they're not the usual uh, tank uh, wheels that we see for use on the ground. That also poses a problem for these uh, for these vehicles too, whether they'll be able to drive through the mud during the winter, or whether they're going to have to wait for more clement weather or really for a big freeze to set in to drive across the ice. Now, they're all made in France. They were introduced in 1981. There are 240 still in service. They've seen action in the first Gulf War in 1991, also in Mali and also in Afghanistan. Uh, France is developing a new uh, sort of tank at the moment, which is called Jaguar, which is going to take the place of, of these military vehicles. So they're being offered to Ukraine. They're still very much in active service in France, but Emmanuel Macron has been quite keen to underline that it's not going to affect France's ability to protect itself. Uh, this is all part of a package which has been announced for Ukraine following a visit by the Defence Minister Sebastien Le Cornu uh, just recently, where he announced 200 million euros in support for Ukraine plus military supplies. This is what Ukraine is going to get. Uh, and uh, these vehicles will be arriving. We don't know when and we don't know how many for the moment are going to be sent. Philip, how significant then would you say this announcement really is in the grand scheme of things? Well, I think it's an important announcement for France. It's a coup for uh, Emmanuel Macron, certainly to be the first. They're saying the first Western um, tanks. In fact, they're the first European military vehicles, but uh, he's already received this thank you from uh, Volodymyr Zelensky uh, saying that he had a long and detailed conversation with President Emmanuel Macron and uh, thanked him for the decision to transfer uh, these light tanks and bastion APCs to Ukraine and for intensifying work with partners in the same direction. Uh, this is covering over some of the cracks between uh, France and Ukraine over their relationship, some of the phrases that have been uttered by Emmanuel Macron recently calling for Vladimir Putin to come to the negotiating table, Ukraine saying that's not possible uh, earlier, France saying there has to be a new military relationship with Ukraine, uh, with Russia rather, Ukraine saying that's not possible with a country that invaded and took over Crimea, and also uh, Emmanuel Macron more recently saying that one shouldn't annoy Vladimir Putin, which is something that is totally unacceptable for Ukraine. So I think this is a way of France saying, look, we are back in Ukraine. We're taking in Ukrainian refugees. We're now supplying more weaponry. This is exactly what Ukraine wants. And we're doing our very best to make sure that Ukraine has the upper hand in this war. All right, Philip, thanks for that. France 24's Philip Turrell.